What is up, my beautiful people? Welcome back. It is February 1st, and you know what that means? This is an update video. On this update video, we're gonna go over the goals that we set for January and see how we actually did. I don't know where you are, but here in Utah, it is cold. It has been in the one and two degrees. It's like, that's how, that's how warm it's been here, it's freezing outside. So the goals that we set in January for this year, if you remember, is lose 50 pounds in this year to save six months of expenses in our savings to buy a new home. Uh, and to break those down is to lose a pound a week, to do money envelopes, do a no spend January. So here's the update on how we did. All right, so first goal, lose a pound a week. On this goal, I've actually been doing really good. I would put pictures up here, but I'm too embarrassed for that. So we're not gonna do that. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. I have lost one pound per week. I actually am over, I've lost about two pounds extra. That's just me going to the gym five times a week, doing the treadmill, eating better. I'm trying to do a lifestyle thing, not cut everything out, not trying to, to say I can't do anything. I actually have a couple friends at my day job that are doing this with me not losing a pound a week but on their own fitness goals right now having them with me not so much on the same thing and not so much on a competition but just having them like hey it's week four hey it's week three like we're all together on this i really do like that it really helps we can hold each other accountable and we really didn't mean to do that it just happened to go that way and it's working out Goal number two. For that, we are doing money envelopes. They are going, okay, we didn't have a whole lot of money to be able to put in there. We're being more restrictive with what we're putting in there right now. Um, so we have a lot more envelopes. We're just not putting as much into the boys envelope or to the eating out envelope. We're having to put money in different places. Right now, the dogs need a haircut, so we had to put money into the dogs envelope because now that it's February and we can spend, the dogs are getting a haircut on Friday. Sunny, who's our puppy, we just got in December. She's going through puppy classes, so we had to put money into the puppy fund in order to fund those classes as well. So we're not able to really put, like disperse the money a whole lot, but it's still working. We have that money set aside for them, so we're not getting into our credit cards or our debit cards, and we're not having to do those kind of transactions. We have it set aside already with that job to do. Now the big one, on a, honestly, probably the hardest one, even harder than losing, going to the gym every day and working out, the no spend January. Now no spend January actually went really well. We only had four days in the red. And let me tell you this, my nephew asked me if I would go with him on a field trip. We went to the Clark Planetarium in Salt Lake City and it cost $6 for a ticket to get in. So I spent the $6 to be able to go with him and to experience that with him and we really had a great time. In Salt Lake, you have to pay for parking. They do validate, but the validation only worked up to a certain amount and I had to pay a dollar to get out of the parking garage. We had a Costa Vita gift card and we had Costa Vita points we went to get our food and it ended up being $4 more than our gift card and our points allowed. We spent $4 at Costa Vida to pay the rest of our food. The very last red day was my sister's birthday. Now, to be fair, I did ask if she had anything planned or anything that we needed to plan for in December so we can have that money set aside for that. She didn't say anything until about two days prior and she decided that we were going to dinner and to go bowling, so me and between me and Shay, going out to dinner and eating and bowling, we spent $50. So that was a huge red X on that one. Out of 31 days, we spent on four days. Four days, that's it. I'm pretty impressed by that, honestly. Get one on Friday, huh? Oh, and I didn't mention, Shea saved like $530 in the savings account. So that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. $500 in a month, that's how much she saved. So that's a win. That's definitely a win. For the month of February, here's our goals. Obviously sticking with the one pound a week, 
continue to work out, continue to do my workout routine, we're sticking with that. With money, we're gonna use our money envelopes. We're gonna make sure we're putting money aside for the things that we wanna do. We're also putting money away for that, like groceries. Make sure we're staying in a budget, just being more conscious about what we're spending. This is kind of a fun little goal thing that we wanted to do for February. But this month, instead of doing the January's challenge was a no spend month, February's challenge is this. I found this online, I liked it, we're gonna attempt it. I don't know about you, but maintaining friendships and relationships gets really difficult, especially as you get older. Yeah, you both have different lives, you both have a lot of things going on. A lot of my friends have kids, so we it's, it's hard to find that time. So this is what our goal for February is. We wanna do one lunch date with a friend. We wanna do 24 hours, no social media. We wanna spend one day outdoors. Now this depends on the weather outside because like I said, we're not cold people. I don't like being cold. We can do this if the weather permits us to do this. It gets a little bit, maybe in the 20s even, then we'll do this. We'll spend some time outdoors, take the dogs for a walk, go for a hike, do something fun, but that's weather permitting, so don't get crazy with that one. We're doing one night out with friends. I wanna do one date night with me and her, a breakfast meetup with friends, one movie night, and a day completely to ourselves. That's kind of what we want to accomplish in February. That we are still trying to save money. We're not trying to go out and spend lavishly. We're not trying to do a big old brunch. For example, we've already set a date and a time for one night out with friends is gonna end up being a game night in with friends. We kind of switched up a little bit of these to kind of go with our goals as well. Still maintaining the social aspect of everything, but keeping our financial goals at the forefront of our minds. That's our goals for February. Just kind of getting out there, being more social. Super excited about this year. January went well. We hit, I think we accomplished our goals for the most part. Four red days out of 31. So honestly, I, I'm gonna call it a win. I think we did really well, we stuck to our guns, and we did some big things. So here's to February, hopefully it's warmer, hopefully it's not as cold the rest of this month, and we start going forward. Wanna say hi to the people? Too close, too close. I would rather just have it snow than just be cold. Like, just give us snow. I'd rather have that than just be cold all the freaking time. I'm literally like sleeping in hoodies and pants. One, because I don't like being cold. Two, I also don't like paying the heating bill so I don't try to raise it that much. So I just layer up. It is what it is, you know? I'm trying to save money here. 